Tech stocks take a tumble. The sector that has soared past all others so far this year came under renewed selling today, led by the mega caps, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Weakness in technology put a damper on the rally in the financial shares, which were higher following the results of the Federal Reserve stress test that we told you about last night. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 167 points to 21,287. It had been down more than 250 points midday. The Nasdaq dropped 90, almost 1.5 percent, and the S&P 500 was off 21. And although today's pullback may look concerning, it might not be as bad as it appears. Bob Pisani explains. Today was anything but a sleepy summer day for the stock market. The Dow plummeted as much as 257 points before recovering to end down 167 points, largely weighed down by Apple as tech stocks took another drubbing. But for the moment, this doesn't look so much like the start of a broader sell-off as it does a healthy rotation. Investors are moving money out of overowned semiconductor stocks and the big tech names like Microsoft and Apple and Google and into underloved and beaten up sectors like banks and energy. Those were the only two sectors in the green today, and there is some reason for that. Bank stocks, for example, bounced after the Federal Reserve approved the capital plans of all 34 banks under review in the second round of its bank stress test. That hasn't happened since the financial crisis back in 2008. They're raising all of the dividends. Energy stocks like Chevron traded higher because crude oil prices are drifting back up towards the $45 a barrel mark. And beyond that, the price of copper, a key industrial precious metal, has risen about 3% this week. And bond yields are also up 5% to levels not seen since May. Call it the reflation trade. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.